Hello once again, everyone. From the beautiful campus of Central State University, I'm visiting today with Ambrose Moses. Ambrose, you're one of the leaders here in Extension, and your team, we've talked to several of them, and I think might have more to talk with. But my gosh, you have so many individuals that are connecting with the people in the community, and uh, that's what you're all about. Tell our viewer what your responsibilities are. Well, thank you uh, for uh, meeting with us here today, uh, Gary. Um, my name is uh, Ambrose Moses, as, as you say it here. Um, and my role uh, with Extension is uh, as, as an Extension educator. And uh, I started back in uh, 2017 as the first uh, county agent uh, with the university uh, after it received its land grant status. And my program area is community and economic development. And within community and economic development, I focus primarily um, in terms of helping to educate small businesses and, and farmers and agribusinesses in terms of some of the startup process and the growth of their businesses. Now, you have a, uh, a primary kind of responsibility, something that you uh, you like to wag the flag about. Uh, tell us about that. Well, one of the things um, that, that has happened um, over the years, um, in 2020, we did bring on additional staff, um, and we finally began to, to grow and expand. And so my role went from being a, a county uh, agent, um, just focused on one county, being Cuyahoga County, um, to uh, a statewide responsibility and focus more on uh, disaster management education. And, and with that, um, we uh, develop a program to, to provide more education and training for small businesses in the area of preparedness um, so that to uh, help make them more resilient to um, and, and able to um, uh, respond to uh, disasters um, that, that impact the business community. And, and, and in particular, um, you know, since we did this in 2020, obviously the, the major disaster that's, that's global was the uh, impact of COVID-19. Well, you say prepare, would it also mean uh, to withstand the challenges of? Uh, yes, and, and one of the issues that we focused upon was that uh, when, when, when COVID-19 hit, uh, the federal government did put out, uh, and, and, and state government put out various resources um, as part of the uh, disaster relief uh, aspect. But there were many businesses that weren't able to um, access those because they weren't prepared. They did not have the records in place. They did not have the necessary data and financial tax returns, things of that nature. So our uh, thought uh, and approach is to help build that capacity by focusing on that preparedness aspect of disaster management. Okay, now I, I know when you have such, uh, such uh, educators as Amber Twitty that have all these great ideas and, and everything like that, is it hard to get people to uh, sort of piggyback with her to uh, get the job done? <laughs> we we have a, a great team, um, and Amber is uh, one of the uh, excellent members on our uh, community and economic development team, and um, and we're able to get uh, through the uh, the skills and the connections that our team has. A lot of uh, agencies and and professionals um, who are willing and able to work with us. Um, I think our biggest challenge is. Uh, getting the word out to the public in terms of uh, Central State University um, as a land-grant institution and in terms of what resources uh, we provide uh, to, uh, to the community. So, so that's one of the biggest things I, I think that we have to really work on is for the community to, to recognize um, the land-grant status and the benefit that it, uh, that, it, that it provides to them. Well, I think over the years, uh, folks have looked at and, and talked about extension in maybe uh, a couple of different dimensions, but uh, you're taking those dimensions and adding to them, and, and uh, a lot more is happening. I, I think that um, we're, we're adding to it um, in terms of some of the uh, creativity, um, I think, that we bring to the table, and, and that's one of the, 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 the beautiful aspects of uh, the, uh, the state of Ohio, having the, the two land grants. We have the Ohio State University um, as our 1862 land grant, and then we have Central State University as our 1890 land grant. Now, across the country, those uh, relationships, those states uh, with the other 19, um, uh, the other 18 uh, land, uh, 1890s, uh, have been in existence for, you know, 80 to uh, 100 years. Um, 
in our situation uh, being so new, I think it gives us an opportunity in the state of Ohio to be uh, creative and unique in terms of how we approach that. So, um, you know, having uh, a team that has uh, the, the ideas and the, the experience that we have here, um, I think we're going to do some uh, very interesting and, and creative things in the state of Ohio. That will be able to be scaled um, and replicated across the country. I, I, I really think you're going to hear some really good things coming out of Central State. From what I hear, at least, uh, I, I think you're going to be highlighting some of the, uh, the projects that you're doing in Emory Hall. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, one of the uh, projects that we're working on um, um, is, is a, a business incubator that we're going to be doing here in, in Emory Hall. And, and our goal is to use it more as a um, sort of a, 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 a small business readiness uh, program where we're going to incubate uh, some of the, um, um, we're, we're going to focus more on the youth, uh, youth sector being from the, um, you know, the, the 18, 19 year olds on up to the, you know, you know, 20, 30, you know, year olds um, who have uh, small businesses or small business ideas and, and, and look to help build their capacity um, here uh, at Emory Hall and then take them out to um, another uh, uh, larger incubator uh, project that we have in development uh, here, here locally. However, uh, what we're also looking to do is to uh, sort of connect with some other uh, sites across the state to then uh, have them be able to branch out or go and have impact in the other counties. What have been some of the comments from the students once they hear what you have to offer in working with the various communities around the state and businesses? I, I, I think that, um, uh, well, this brings to, 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 uh, to, um, to mind, I'm sort of a, a, a detail type person. Uh, so, so just to be clear, um, what we're talking about here is extension. And, and, and so extension is a different function from the, uh, from the research and the teaching that occurs under the land grant. Um, so, so with the students, uh, one of the first things um, that we uh, addressed was the um, awareness, you know, them knowing what extension is and that we're on campus. Um, uh, a couple years ago, we were doing one of our uh, summer programs um, and we got to talk with some of the students and, uh, and we we're bringing some of the uh, uh, youth from the community for, uh, for some of the programming. And the students would see uh, when they hear about extension, they were looking at uh, Emory. We, you know, we talked about Emory Hall and they said, well, we saw activity there, but we didn't know what was going on. And um, so so when we talk about that awareness aspect, um, uh, we had to start addressing awareness even on campus in terms of extension and then to, um, uh, you know, then brought, brought in that out. So, but as students learn about it, you know, they become more and more interested. I believe we've even brought on some students uh, as staff as we've begun to expand as well. Fantastic. And I guess the sky's the limit. Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. We've been visiting today with Ambrose Moses. Ambrose, if folks like what you had to say and have questions. Uh, maybe they have uh, students, potential students in the family. What's the best way for them to get in touch? Uh, centralstate.edu slash CSU extension is our website for extension. Um, or they could uh, just uh, reach out to me, uh, amoses at centralstate.edu. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure finding out a little bit more about Central State's land grant status. Thanks for being with us. Yep. Thank you, Gary. And stay with us back with more right after this.